Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. If you guys want to subscribe to my editor, you guys have noticed these edits. He does a lot of NBA 2K um, and that's that's pretty much it. So it's like rebuilds. You guys have been asking me to do NBA 2K rebuilds for years and I did a couple and it's just not me. But if you do want to watch them, my lovely editor, Franchise City, his link will be in the top line of the description, and he'll edit in a little YouTube link for himself right now. Um, but today, in Giants franchise, we face the Philadelphia Eagles. Five wins against five wins. I do have upgrades, maybe? Kent Raymond and Nat DeGear. That actually reminds me, I gotta change Kent Raymond's helmet. I hate looking at it. It's just so, like, ugh. So we are gonna change it. Number 55 out of USC equipment. Um, I don't like the uh, Rydell Revolution. Let's go with the Rydell Revolution speed. Big fan. Not going to change anything else. And um, we've been playing him kind of as a 4 3 outside linebacker. And he can rush the passer really well. I think I need his tackle to be up higher. So we're going to put that into run stoppers. Overall, doesn't go up. But uh, as you guys can see, block shedding, tackle, hit power. Hit power plus two is kind of a fun one. 85. Now we're talking. And for Nat DeGear, he's kind of more of a special teamer than anything. Uh, let's just boost zone coverage again. Give me like a plus three zone coverage. That'd be incredible. Plus two. I'll take it. I'll take it. 88 zone. That is not bad. Time to face the Philadelphia Eagles at home. I think we're going to come out in some alternates again. I really loved... Uh, this is going to be the red ones. I really love the classic 1980s home, and I think that's all we have as an option. Someone suggested in the comment section to make this my actual home uniform. Not sure we're going to do that right now, but we are going to break it out again, just because we haven't through four seasons of Giants franchise, and it'd be a shame we, you know, when the series eventually comes to an end if we've only seen them like once or twice. So we're breaking them out again today for the second time in the series. Giants, Eagles. Eagles, of course, got their first uh, Super Bowl last year, much to my dismay. But we're coming out here trying to prevent anything like that from happening again. And a win today is going to do a lot to further that agenda. The fireworks exploding. White Lightning Kyle takes the field. And the rest of the Giants follow. Saquon, let them know. Let him know, Saquon. 20 touches today. We have had a great season so far. We've won three in a row. Point differential of 20. Time to add that to that today. This is actually my first game of Giants franchise. I played in like two weeks. This is my first uh, game of Giants franchise recorded since I had my surgery. I think the nose is pretty good. Uh, it wasn't a nose job. It was for a player a repair of the inside. So I can breathe pretty well. And even though the swelling won't go down for six months, uh, I, think, I think it is an improvement. All right, so you guys been asking about that. That's out of the way. Time for Giants franchise. There was a patch that went out in the, within the last like week and a half. So this is my first game on the new patch. We'll have to see how it plays. Third and two. It's a run. Landon Collins shuts it down. No, JJ is still going. Are you kidding me? I closed the gap, and JJ managed to just shake it off like it was nothing. It's a good piece of running from Ajayi. The Boise State Bronco bucking like a Bronco. Flying like an eagle. Squirming like a dolphin. Dolphin player. Shut down that time. Enough with the animal like comparisons. Third and six. I didn't realize that was third down, to be honest. That's a great completion by Carson Wentz. Some of his best work, if I'm honest. Time to force feed the ball to Saquon Barkley. A little bit premature on the truck there. But the gold cleats and gloves look really nice. That's a bonus. As Kendall Beckwith made the tackle. Didn't even realize the Eagles had picked him up here in season four. Third down and six. That's wide open in the flat. It's DeMar Jacobs. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going. Pick up the first down, though. We keep getting DeMar Jacobs more and more involved, and he has not let me down so far. Second and nine. Oh, my goodness. 
Odell was on a double move, and I guess I didn't realize it in the play art. I just saw the post. Um, still hit him right in the hands, and he didn't catch it, though, which is a little bit frustrating. Third and nine. Wide open over the middle is Keenan Allen. And Keenan Allen drops it. Linebacker got over there in a hurry. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to punt. Keenan Allen has not been all that Keenan Allen was supposed to be for us. When I signed him, I expected him to be a bigger playmaker than he is. And riddle me this. How can I not kick a field goal, but in so many weeks, you guys see me pin them exactly on the one. How do I continue to do this, but I can't kick a field goal? I can't even make an extra point in the rain and the wind in last episode. People were very disappointed in me. And Jay Ajayi is going to be a problem today, I can tell you that much. Third and one. That's play action. That's a really good play action. But it's b even better pressure. Dalvin Tomlinson up the middle. Almost an interception by Kent Raymond in the end zone. He also came in on the blitz and could not catch it. Otherwise, it would have been seven. Well, automatic six. You guys know me with extra points. Nothing's guaranteed. Oh, Morris DuBose. Check out the acceleration. What a return. Saquon Barkley. Great blocking. An easy touchdown. Absolutely untouched. And the speed is just too killer for the former Penn State running back. Let's go, baby. Uh, big play by Jeff Hoyerman there. Hi Hireman, I believe it's actually pronounced. My bad. He actually, he like broke his ribs and something like that. Like, he like get mauled by a bear or something. I, I don't know. He'd fall down the stairs. Ah. Let me blitz. Alshon Jeffrey easy up the middle. Let's, let's shut this team down, man. Play action and sacked. Nat DeGear on the blitz. And that takes Philadelphia well out of field goal range. So if we can keep them from gaining any real yardage here, we're going to be in a fantastic spot. I think I'm actually going to do that. Cam Jordan in a hook zone is not the best. But great play by Derwin James in the flat. They pick up a couple yards, but it's nothing serious. Third and 15. Here's the field goal try from the 39. This is kind of a long field goal, but Jake Elliott's crushed the Giants from a lot further. 61 yards, and this one is no different. Splits the sticks, and Philadelphia's on the board. 7-3 to three in favor of the New York Football Giants. We're going to take a deep shot. Laletta for Keenan Allen! Breaks a tackle! Finally getting KA11, I guess the Slayer involved. An unknown nickname, but I can promise you it, it is. All right, let's get... Ooh. This is a really heavy box. I think we can run if we get good blocks on the outside from our tight ends. And we do. Saquon Barkley again with a pretty good gain. The blocking has been fantastic from the guys today. Certainly a blitz off that right side or the left side. From the right... I, I don't know even what to call that. Laletta on the run for Evan Ingram. What a catch. Great throw outside the pocket as well, and we are down to the one-yard line. Let's hand the ball off to Saquon. Spins off one and gets wrapped up by another. Fletcher Cox is just too good. Can't push it across. Not my first time being unable to put it in. I miss a lot. Second and goal. Keenan Allen in motion. And the slant. What? We're going to try Saquon again. Easy touchdown. Kind of couldn't decide which hole to hit. Another oh, daily struggle. Saquon Barkley. Is he dougieing? <laughs> you got to play teach me how to dougie for a minute. We're up 14 3. It's a good start. Run up the middle. Oh my goodness. Lawrence Thomas almost had him in the backfield, and then Julius Manning couldn't wrap up either. Jay Ajayi has been a menace so far. Empty set. That's a user pick. Good night, Moon. Easy. Reeves. Alex Espinoza. Get across. Carson Wentz. 
Get off me! Touchdown, Alex Espinoza. We extend the lead here with the user pick. 21 to 3, and the Boo Birds are out. I don't even see any Eagles fans. Who's booing? What? <laughs> We're up 21 3. I see almost no green in the entire stands. I guess Philadelphia doesn't travel well. Oh, no. Oh, what a tackle from Lorenzo Carter. He was getting blocked by Raji. Of course, uh, BJ Raji. I don't know about all that. But, um, yeah, what a tackle. Tackled him through somebody. Oh, my God. Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi, man. This guy is impossible to stop nearly. Jay Ajayi again. Now the blocking's just insane. Roman Pugh had to bring him down. He was play playing as a linebacker for some reason. Oh, my goodness. Again, right up the middle. We're getting crushed. That's wide open. We got to wrap up here. All right, a little bit. Third and nine. Let's shut down Wentz. And Ertz fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Lawrence Thomas, the new LT. That's, I don't know if he made a football move, but the ball definitely came out. They're calling it a fumble. I'm cool to agree. Great stop from the defense. Oh, that's wide open in the flat. Saquon Barkley. Turn on the Jets, man. Why are you not running? We're going deep. Saquon's open. Laletta hits him on the money. What? Spin past him. Stay up, Saquon. Let's go, baby. It's a Saquon Barkley show here today. Nothing's new. I'm kind of down for a draw here just because of how unexpected it might be. And I, I just, I got suctioned into him immediately. Eight seconds. We'll take a shot at the end zone maybe and then try a field goal if we don't get it. Easy slant. Easy touchdown. Odo Beckham Jr. Great short route running. And great hands. Makes it an easy touchdown. He's been having an incredible season. That's his ninth touchdown on the year. This is, I believe, either week eight or week nine. So he is on a fantastic pace. Touchdown a game. Maybe sometimes even more. It's only the second quarter. Odell could be looking at 17, 18 touchdowns this year if we continue this pace. Looks like Philadelphia is going to take a shot at the end zone. Not that that really matters. Lobbing it up. Not exactly the end zone there, is it, Carson? 28-3. to Shout out to the Patriots and the Falcons. Starting the third quarter with a return. Let's close them out. Defense is clutched up today. Forced to turn over when the Eagles were threatening to score and make this a ball game. We've played well today. Oh, Saquon Barkley is off to the races. One man to beat. Five. Touchdown, Saquon Barkley. Look at the dab. Oh, my goodness. Cringe. 75 yards of the house for Saquon Barkley. Honestly, it's like cringy when people say cringe nowadays. It's been ruined, honestly. I know I just said it, but... It's not cringy when I do it because it's. I can't. I can't rationalize it honestly. Thirty-five-three. Saquon's a menace. Oh my goodness. There's a flag. It's a hold. We've been saved. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I thought he would cut it to the outside, but uh, he didn't. Block in the back. I'll take it. Same as a hold. It's gonna reset the big play. What is it, like, replay the down from the spot of the foul? First and seven. Kind of weird. It's another run. <laughs> it's still a bad one. Well, not for us, 12 rushes, 85 yards. Our run defense is getting... Well, it's not... It, it, there isn't any. We need to, uh... Come out, like, 4-6 and just play to stop the run, maybe. Oh, it's play action. And a sack! Kent Raymond... He, this guy is Defensive Rookie of the Year, for sure. There we go. Carson Wentz going way short of the marker on third down. And it, it's third down and long. Now it's fourth and 13. They've got a little bit more space for the punt. 
And uh, it's not a particularly good one. Morris Dubois is going to have some good space. But uh, no blocking, really. It hung up in the air for way too long. Oh, Saquon Barkley again. Good block. And Saquon might be gone. Saquon Barkley stiff arming. It doesn't even have to. Touchdown. What, number four of the game? 62 yards on this one? The speed is too much. Philadelphia has no answer. The secondary's too slow. The linebackers are too slow. Our offensive line's too good, and it's finally showing. This is a murder. No comeback here. 41-3. Make it 42. Philadelphia's got to start taking some chances, dude. That draw was read, like, so well. It was very easy to see. I don't know why, but they're down by so much, and they're just not trying to get back into the game. Not that it's really even possible at this point, but they let it get to this position. They haven't turned over the ball that much. Two turnovers, an interception, and a forced fumble. And it's just all been short stuff. Carson Wentz, 10 completions. He's 10 for 13. Only 77 yards. And they've run the ball well. It, it, dude, this is either on the offensive coordinator head coach and Carson Wentz because they are not looking to extend the field. Another short pass. This one's behind the line or at the line, to, you know, at the line of scrimmage. Looks like it's second and 11. How do you expect to win games like this? You can't. Zach Kurtz has three catches for 10 yards. That's like a little over three yards per catch. Three yards per reception. That's his longest reception of the day, but like via averages. Third and four. Another short one. Four for 17. This is embarrassing. Coon in motion. And that was thrown uh, right over my head. I just... I, I wasn't... It doesn't matter is what is what it is. It doesn't matter. Another run. These have been successful. They could honestly just run the ball every down. And they would probably score a touchdown every single time. And they haven't done that. Oh, Dalvin Tomlinson. Great stop. That was the longest, most delayed handoff I've ever seen. It just didn't work out well. It was a buck sweep. And it got bucked up. Love it. What a joke. Going deep. Derwin James got to make the play. He did. I got to start switching on, man. I don't know why I let the players do it themselves. It's good to see the Eagles finally taking a shot, though. Another shot. I don't know what that was. Weird animation. Either way, it's incomplete. And I imagine Philadelphia is going to just settle for a field goal try. Yeah, man, 42 to 6 looks a lot better in the box than uh, 42 to 3. Don't. Why bother going for it? Right down the middle. Elliot's been so good today. Oh, you didn't, Saquon. It's just he's just disgustingly good. Walletta on the money. Howard Russell, great catch, first down. As if we needed anything else to go towards uh towards our victory. This Eagles defense has been exposed. Third and twelve. We're just gonna run the ball. We'll go to Saquon. And we actually get decent blocking, yet. Saquon Barkley is way too fast for the blocking, so we can't get around the edge because we get tripped up. That's a pick. Morris DuBose, pick six. What are you doing trying to go to Ajayi? Look at the taunt. Morris DuBose with the pick six. I love it. Continuing the slaughter. And he might get the thumbnail now over Saquon, who's had a pretty good game. Sick one's the thumbnail all the time. I don't know. Might have to go Morris Dubose. Oh, that's wide open. I guess I left that. Okay. Third and three. Philadelphia putting together kind of a nice drive. Let's move Espinosa inside just a little bit. And it doesn't matter because JJ picks up the first down. Carson Wentz hasn't been terrible today. 
It's been an interception user pick and one real bad pass at Morris Dubose. That was a pick six. But he's completed so many of his passes, but they've just been for two yards apiece. That's why they're not winning. It's not. It's why it's not close, I should say. Ah, oh, it's great coverage by Morris Dubose, but Alshon Jeffrey's got really strong hands. The ball is right on the money, and Alshon Jeffrey gets into the end zone. That was tough. Uh, good coverage. What can you do? Final play, handoff, going to go to Carlos Kershaw. He picks up one yard, and that is the ball game. We uh, we dominated today. We really did. And Barkley's back in. Maybe we'll give him one more handoff for good measure. Yep, Saquon Barkley picks up another 10 or so. Maybe that was like 8 or 9. And that is your ball game. Let's check out the stats and then get out of here. Yeah, throw down the clipboard. It didn't work at all. You should have done that in the first quarter. Obviously, you didn't have to pass the ball that much today. But Kyle, 11 for 16, 177 in a TD, 126.3 QBR. Jay Ajayi was great, but Saquon Barkley was better. 18 rushes for 210 and four touchdowns. Receiving, he had four catches for 63 yards. Odell had only one catch, but it was a touchdown. Five yards today. Not great. Defensively, DuBose had nine tackles. Tackle for loss as well. Uh, sack for Kent Raymond and Nat DeGear. Interceptions for Espinoza and DuBose, including a forced fumble for BJ Goodson, recovery by Lawrence Thomas, and a defensive touchdown by both Alex Espinoza and Morris DuBose. We do have a couple of upgrades that we're going to spend or utilize in the next episode, but that's going to be it for week eight. As we move on to week nine, past the trade deadline, to face the two and five Detroit Lions at Ford Field. Maybe we'll come out in the all white alternates, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Fantastic.